Hello and welcome to my live video tonight. I am Kristen Hotop. I'm glad that you could join me. I'm doing this a little bit differently tonight. Right now I'm in my bathroom and I'm trying going to try not to embarrass myself too much as I transition out of my bathroom and to the rest of my video. So as you can see, the title of the video is Nothing Changes If Nothing Changes. Well, absolutely, that makes sense. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about my health journey and how I was able to go from not being able to do a 10 minute workout and zero push-ups to being able to complete that 30 minute cardio arms and ab workout that I completed yesterday. So I see we got a couple people on. For some reason, notifications aren't popping up, so please make sure you say hi. Let me know that you are here. I'm glad that you are watching, uh, and I hopefully you get some value out of this. So, all right, I'm gonna switch the camera around. I'm gonna start with showing you what I have on my bathroom mirror. Okay, all right, so like I said, I'm gonna try not to embarrass myself too much. Hey, Alicia, thanks for jumping on. All right, let's see if this works. Okay. So on my bathroom mirror, I have a post-it note that says, I change best by feeling good, not by feeling bad. So yes, it's in my, in my bathroom, on my mirror. You can see my clock and everything. So I'm gonna turn this background so you can get back to me and hopefully not show you anything else that's too, other, anything else that's other too embarrassing. All right, so we're gonna finish my video tonight. So that comes from the book, Tiny, Tiny Habits, by BJ Fogg, and that's what I've been reading. I can't show you the book because it's actually on my phone. I use the Kindle Reader uh, just because that's super easy for me. I've got my phone with me everywhere I go. I can pop it open, I can read a chapter, I can start working on the activities, whatever the case may be. But one of the biggest things that I have learned from that, and I shared a little bit in my post uh, earlier today, was that it's tiny habits that make the biggest changes. And so it, you've got to hack your brain. So you're, um, the thing that most people get stuck on is motivation. And the thing is, motivation is fickle. You're going to have motivation some days. You're not going to have motivation other days. And if you're trying to start an exercise routine and thinking that 30 minutes or an hour of exercise is impossible, you're going to believe that it's impossible. So you've got to hack your brain. You've got to start small. And so that was why I was I put in there that you, you really got to start tiny, 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 as in putting on your sports bra or putting on your running shoes, because those are, excuse me, those are things that are easy and you can be successful with those. Just because you put on your sports bra or your running shoes, you don't have to do anything else. You've already been successful. And the more days that you succeed at that, you will feel better and you will want to do more. So that goes back to the post-it note that I've got on my mirror that I look at every day. I change better by feeling good, not by feeling bad. So put those immediate successes into your new routine and you will have even more success. So it was to me, it was overwhelming to think about how I was going to do a, a 30 minute routine, let alone a 10 minute routine. So I started small. I started tiny. I turned after I was successful with putting on my sports bra, then I started putting on a video. Now, I never expected myself to complete the video. I just had to turn on the video and do the first exercise. I know, some of you are probably thinking that this, that this is just crazy. It is a way to train yourself to do more. Now, so this is my example. I've worked through this uh, going from getting a video started to doing the 10 minute routines to doing the, the 15 and then the 20. And then yesterday I decided, you know what, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna push for that 30 minute routine. I'm not gonna give up. I'm dying in the middle of it. As you can imagine, you saw my picture at the end, uh, but I was just so excited to be able to complete that. So I'm gonna tell you uh, another story. Uh, before you pop off. Uh, so I really appreciate you guys joining this. I hope this helps you. If this is something you feel that you that resonates with you, go ahead and drop that in the comments. Tell me, hey, this makes sense. Hey, it's something I'm going to try because I really want more people to be successful with whatever it is that they're doing. If you're wanting to eat more meals at home, if you're wanting to get into a workout routine, if you're wanting to drink more water, you've got to start tiny. 
So let's talk about water real quick. So I, this water wasn't in the book, but if you wanna start drinking more water, start by getting a nice cup, getting a pretty water cup. That is the one of the easiest ways to get yourself to drink more water is to like the cup that you put your water in. So order yourself a new cup and then set your cup on the counter. Each morning, you're gonna get your cup out of the cupboard and you're gonna set it on the counter and you have been successful. And then you're gonna fill it. So as you, as you start to build on these habits, then you can fill your water bottle. And then after you've been successful with that, then start drinking it. You're exactly right, Alicia. Sometimes you overwhelm yourself and your brain can't handle it. So you've gotta start tiny. You've gotta be successful with those tiny things to have more success with the bigger things. So I'll give you the other example from, uh, so you've heard my example, you've heard a, a hypothetical example with water. Let's talk about the last example and then I'll let you guys go. Um, the last example is cooking more meals at home. So this is an actual example from the book. Uh, and if you are interested in more information, get the book. I encourage you get the book. I, can't, I think it was like 10 bucks uh, from Kindle Reader. But she wanted to cook more meals at home because she knew it would be better for her health. So she didn't start out saying, I'm gonna cook my own breakfast every morning before I go. No, that, was, that would have been overwhelming. She wouldn't have been successful. She would have gotten down on herself. She would have really criticized herself and it wouldn't have gotten her to where she wanted to be. So what she did instead is her tiny habit was she turned on the burner. That's it. Each morning she would turn on the burner and then she would congratulate herself. Hey, I did it. And then as time progressed, then she would put on a pot and start to boil water. But she didn't have to make breakfast. If she felt like making breakfast, she did. If she didn't make breakfast, she was still successful because she completed those tiny habit steps. So it's, it, you've got to find what's going to work for you. And if you can anchor it to something, then you'll be even more successful. So for example, if you wanted to floss your teeth, you wanted to floss your teeth, find something you can do with it. So as soon as I finish brushing my teeth, I'm gonna floss one tooth. That's another example from the book that he gives. And if you're successful flossing one tooth, you congratulate yourself. You don't have to floss the rest of them. But as you build on it, then you will do more. So maybe you want to do something. Maybe you want to work your business after you drop the kids off from school. So that's another great anchor. After I drop my kids off at school and they close the door, I am going to send out five messages. Or whatever the case may be. Whatever it is that you want to do, anchor it with something that you already do that you're not going to have to remember and you will be better off. Same thing with taking your supplements. So this is another great one. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> I told you only one and I'm, I'm on a roll. So you're just gonna have to hang with me. So taking your supplements is another great thing. After I brush my teeth, I'm gonna take my supplements and I'm gonna put them on my bathroom counter so that as soon as I'm done brushing my teeth, I can see them and remember to take them. Because I'm gonna brush my teeth every morning no matter what. I don't have to set an alarm to brush my teeth. And so if you can anchor it with something that you already do on a consistent basis, you will be more successful. So I really appreciate you guys watching. If you want more tips or more ideas on how you can get to where you want to be in your health, in your business, I would love to work with you. I would love to show you how I'm building residual income and adding some extra income to my family. I'd love to show you how I've increased my health and happiness by adding a few simple products to my life. And I would love to help you get healthy as well. So if you found value, feel free to drop a comment, share it with someone who you think needs to hear this message. Get the book, Tiny Habits by BJ Fogg. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.